Good morning and welcome to the Chapel of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. We will have Mass starting at 9 a.m., followed by the devotion to Our Lady of Our Correction, Our Mother of Perpetual Help. Now let us take time to prepare ourselves for Mass.
Good morning, everyone. We join together in our prayer of the Mass for this Wednesday of the third week of Easter and this memorial of St. Catherine of Siena. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ fill your hearts and be with you always. And with your, your spirit. spirit. As we gather together to celebrate the Mass, we are renewed by the Gospel of St. John, who reminds us that all of us are heirs to the promise of eternal life. Lord Jesus, we praise and thank you for your presence in our lives always. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We thank you for the gift that is the forgiveness of all of our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And we thank you for the joy that comes from knowing there is a place for us with you in the kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, free us from our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people, participating in the mystery of Christ, may ever exult in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. 
Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, and I shall raise him up on the last day, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with, and with your you. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. Friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our life's journey my brothers and sisters, is a matter of great contrast, isn't it? One day, a family gathers in church to celebrate a baptism. Parents, godparents, grandparents, brothers and sisters, all are there, all are rejoicing in the gift of new life. And most often, there are big smiles, especially as the water is poured over the baby's head and Mother Church welcomes her newest member. The Easter candle stands tall and proud, a reminder of Jesus' presence on this happy day. Yet another day, perhaps even the same family gathers for a funeral. The atmosphere, of course, is quite different. Heads are bowed low, there is sadness and tears, as the body of a relative or friend is blessed and the procession moves down the aisle in much the same way that that person may have entered the church and approached the altar many times before when alive. The Easter candle stands tall and burns bright, a reminder of the Lord's presence on this solemn day as well. While not all life's contrasts are quite as dramatic as these, my friends, they remind us of the joys and the sorrows, the times of great serenity, the times of anxiety, the confidence and the fears, the ups and downs that all of us, each and every one, experience as God's people. And in that respect, aren't we much like the early Christian community described in the Acts of the Apostles today? St. Luke, who is author of the Acts of the Apostles, tells us that the New Testament community is suffering, and they're suffering greatly. St. Stephen has been stoned for his faith and has become the first of the Christian martyrs. Saul, better known to us as Paul, is busily going about door to door, discovering and arresting these followers of Jesus. Many people died. Many people fled to escape persecution. And yet while all of this is going on, <clears throat> there is also great joy. The people of Samaria, we hear, are opening up their hearts to Christ. There are miracles, and many new believers are baptized. In our own time and our own place, the word God speaks to us is much the same. In good times and in bad, in our joys and in our sufferings, in life and in death, 
the risen Lord is with us. The Easter candle stands tall and proud right here and right now as a reminder of his love and presence and of the great promise Jesus offers us in the gospel today. A reminder that I shared with you at the beginning of the liturgy. What is that promise? That no matter what our life experience here, all the blessings and all the challenges, he is with us now and will, and I quote from St. John, raise us up on the last day. From life to life, God will never abandon his faithful people. This, my brothers and sisters, is what St. Catherine of Siena believed and what led her to have a tremendous friendship with Christ, what she thought of and described as a mystical marriage. And as an apostle of her own era, she demonstrated her faith in action. Catherine lived during the plague, during the time when the Black Death was ravaging Europe, trusting in Christ, she did her very best to bring his peace and consolation to others. An article in Christianity Today describes her faith and effort this way. When a wave of the plague struck her hometown in 1374, most people fled. But she and her followers stayed to nurse the ill and to bury the dead. She was said to be tireless by day and night. How providential that we celebrate her today as special patron for all of our first responders, our frontline heroes, all those essential workers in our own time of pandemic, and we continue to thank them and pray for them all. From childhood, my brothers and sisters, I prayed a morning offering that begins, Oh my God, I offer you all of my thoughts, words, and actions the sufferings and joys of this coming day, all for your honor and glory. And I think that it is both a prayer and a challenge, isn't it? That like the first followers of Jesus, like St. Catherine of Siena, we all do our very best to live in the confidence that prayer expresses, with full trust that as this day and our lives continue to evolve, Whatever happens, the risen Lord is with us always. Having been attentive to God's word and reflected on it, we raise up our prayers and we make our response, risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our church leaders, that they may be bold in sharing the good news that Jesus loves us and is with us always, we pray, risen, risen Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us, that we may be confident in the Lord's presence in all of life's circumstances, we pray, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those dedicated to providing essential services to us and to our community, that the Lord Jesus will bless, keep, and protect them, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the witness of St. Catherine of Siena, who we honor and celebrate today, that we may all discover and rejoice in the strength she found in her friendship with Christ, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, those in hospitals and other care facilities, those on our prayer line, all of those who have asked to remember them in their time of need, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For those persecuted for their faith in our world today, that all will come to live in peace, harmony, and mutual respect for one another, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. <coughs> For Richard Davis, whom we remember with love in this Mass, all our deceased loved ones and friends who now share eternal life with Jesus, our Mother Perpetual Help, 
Catherine of Sin, and all the saints, we pray. There is the Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for all of the intentions, we now raise up in faith to our ever-attentive God. For all of these, we pray. Risen, Risen Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. Loving God, we ask you, be attentive to all of the prayers that your faithful people raise up to you. May we always rejoice in you, your love and presence, and your promise of everlasting life. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer, fruit of the vine, a work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Please pray now, friends, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that, instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to love, laud you ever more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of life rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all is risen. And therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all that you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, the glorious martyrs, St. Gregory Thaumaturgus, St. Catherine of Siena, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. And may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh, merciful Father, gather to yourself all of your children scattered throughout the world, to Richard and all our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world everything that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, I give you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Here is the one who gives us the promise of eternal life with him. Jesus, who takes away the sins of the world. 
and blessed are we now called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, <clears throat> as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine. And we pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless and keep you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace to continue to rejoice in the love and presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Hail, Holy Queen, and throned above, O Maria. Hail, Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph, all ye cherubim, sing with us, ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound the hymn, Salve. Before we begin our weekly devotion to our Mother Perpetual Help, I'd like to call your attention to special events for this Friday, May the 1st. On that day, as we begin a special month dedicated to Mary, both our country and our diocese will be rededicated to Mary under her title as Mother of the Church. The national rededication will be at 3 p.m. The diocesan rededication will be at 7 p.m. And there will be information on both the St. Gregory Thaumaturgus website and the St. Gregory Thaumaturgus Facebook page on how to access these events, as well as the prayer of consecration that's going to be used so that you can follow along. So I hope that you will be able to tune in to this very special moment particularly in time of pandemic when we rededicate ourselves 
as a nation, as a diocese, as a parish, a people of God, to our Blessed Mother. We begin our devotion today to our Mother Perpetual Help, as found on page 15, please. Most Holy and Immaculate Virgin and our Mother Mary, you are our perpetual help, our refuge, and our hope. We, we come, come to you today. today. We, we thank God, God for all the graces received through your intercession. intercession. Mother of perpetual help, we, we promise to love you always and to do all we can to lead others to you. Mother of perpetual help, confident of your powerful influence with God, obtain for us these graces. The strength to overcome temptation, a perfect love for Jesus Christ, and a holy death so that we will live with you and your Son for all eternity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We pray as a community of faith, Mary, all generations have called you blessed. The Almighty has done great things for you. Mother of perpetual help, we call upon your most powerful name. Your very name inspires confidence and hope. May it always be on our lips, especially in times of temptation and at the hour of our death. Blessed Lady, help us whenever we call on you. Let us not be content with merely pronouncing your name. May our daily lives proclaim that you are our mother and our perpetual help. Let us pray for our temporal wants. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence we stand before you. We implore your help in the problems of our daily lives. Trials and sorrows often depress us. Misfortunes and privations bring misery into our lives. Everywhere we meet the cross. Comforter of the afflicted, beg your son Jesus to strengthen us as we bear our burdens and to free us from our sufferings. Or if it be the will of God that we should suffer still longer, help us endure all with love and patience. May we follow the example of your Son, and through him, with him, and in him, commend ourselves to the care of our Heavenly Father. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We present our petitions and our thanks. Lord Jesus Christ, in a word from Mary, your mother, you change water into wine at Cain of Galilee. Listen now to the people of God, gather to honor our mother perpetual help, grant our petitions, and accept our sincere thanks. Grant wisdom and guidance to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Lawrence, our priests and deacons, women and men religious, all the leaders of our nation, state, and community. Hear, Hear us, us, Lord, through Mary, Mary our, our mother. mother. Grant peace and unity throughout the world, especially in our homes and in our families. Hear, Hear us, us, Lord, through Mary, Mary our mother. mother. Grant that young people respond generously to the call of the Holy Spirit in deepening their faith and choosing their vocation in life. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant us continued health of mind and body, help the sick, especially those most desperately in need of our prayers today, to regain their health according to your holy will. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant eternal rest to all our deceased, especially Richard Davis, the intention of our Mass today, all of our deceased family, members, and friends, those faithful departed in need of our prayers, all of those gone before us. Hear, Hear us, Lord, through, through Mary, our, our mother. mother. And let us pause now to silently present our own petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Lord, accept our thanks for the new life of grace you gave us. We, we thank, thank you, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Accept our thanks for all the graces received through the sacramental life of the church. 
We thank you, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Accept our thanks for the spiritual and material blessings we have received. We thank you, Lord, through Mary, our mother. And let us pause now to silently thank our mother perpetual help for our own favors received. Let us pray for the sick. Lord, look upon your servants laboring under bodily weakness. Cherish and revive the souls which you have created, so that purified by their sufferings, they may soon find themselves healed by your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, that he may defend you, within you, that he may sustain you, before you, that he may lead you, behind you that he may protect you, above that he may bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, sinners, now and at the hour of our, of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Let us renew our confidence in Mary as a perpetual help. Mother of perpetual help, you have been blessed and favored by God. You became not only the mother of the Redeemer, but the mother of the redeemed as well. We come to you today as your loving children. Watch over us and take care of us. And as you held the child Jesus in your loving arms, so take us in your arms. Be a mother ready at every moment to help us. For God, who is mighty, has done great things for you and his mercy is from age to age on those who love him. Our greatest fear is that in time of temptation, we may fail to call out to you and become lost children. Intercede for us, dear Mother, in obtaining pardon for our sins, love for Jesus, final perseverance, and the grace always to call upon you, Mother of Perpetual Help. And we unite once more with the Christians of all ages in praising Mary and committing ourselves to her powerful protection. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may become worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us your mother Mary, whose image we venerate, as a mother ready at every moment to help us, grant we beg you that we who call upon her help may always enjoy the fruit of your redemption. We ask this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Thank you all and have a good rest of your day. We'll see you on Sunday.